If you want to make your graph a little more appealing or fun to look at, you could resort to a pictograph. A pictograph simply incorporates pictures into your graph. A very common form of pictograph is achieved by replacing the bars in a bar graph with pictures. For example, the graph below shows the grades of students. It's a vertical bar graph, but done with scaled pencils. It's a pictograph. The pencils just add a little bit of fun to the graph. It makes it a little more appealing and may draw people's eyes to your graph. In some cases, this may be deemed important. In this example, we have another vertical bar graph, but done with tennis balls. Another pictograph. A legend is used at the bottom here to show that each ball in this pictograph represents 20 games played. As probably expected, a quarter of a ball would represent a quarter of 20, or 5 games played. Could this graph have been done with bars? You bet. It does make it a bit more of a fun graph, though. Perhaps they have this listed in a tennis center's newsletter, and they wanted to make people notice it more. In this example, we have a horizontal bar graph, but done with cat heads, a pictograph. The title tells us that we have a kitten who is growing up and getting heavier in their first four months. A legend is used at the bottom here to show that each cat head represents one kilogram of mass. We can definitely see that the cat is growing and it had a big growth spurt in the fourth month. At this point, we've looked at lots of pie charts. But here's a real pie chart. It's based on pictures of pies. Therefore, a pictograph. We see from the title that we're looking at favorite Thanksgiving pies. Pumpkin is definitely the favorite. This is definitely a fun way to show a breakdown. And it's also making me hungry. So on to the next one. If you were part of a social justice group who wanted to point out the unfair practices involved in getting bananas to your home, this pictograph might be a good design. It draws our attention to the graph, and it makes the point in the same way that a pie chart would. That is, the portion of money going to each party is scaled as the portion of this banana. The plantation workers make a very small portion of the money generated by each banana. The retailer, or supermarket, on the other hand, makes a huge portion of the money. A pictograph like this might make people want to learn more about this situation.